This is our trailhead for today. We're gonna be uh, going up the PCT. We're just down. We're just down a ways from uh, Cougar Crest Trail. Yep. But we're picking up the uh, the PCT right over here. Going to Little Bear uh, Springs Camp, and uh, it's about seven uh, seven eight miles. Uh, not too terrible uh, trail. Actually, very scenic. Uh, very nice. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do an overnight. There is a possibility that we may get snow. Um, it might be coming later in the day, so kind of highly unlikely, but hey, you never know. The mountains are the mountains, and the mountains have their own weather. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Well, what's up everybody? We're on the trail now, on the PCT. We just got a great look of, uh, we got a great look at uh, San Gorgonio. Uh, that's where we're supposed to be going next week, uh, to Dry Lake, but uh, Boy, it is just full of snow up there, so I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. So there you go, there's San Gorgonio. You got Big Bear Lake down there. Everything's looking beautiful. I don't think I've seen the lake that high in a very long time. So that's always great to see. For, uh, quite a few miles we've met a lot of interesting people already and that's what's been so cool about this trail is uh, we're meeting a lot of uh, actual PCTers uh, we're meeting people that are just doing sections um, yeah it's been a very interesting experience so far I'm uh, really looking forward to getting to camp and um, yeah just seeing what else this, uh, this adventure is gonna bring us Absolutely beautiful so far. I, I can't, I can't put it into words. Like, I'm so glad I went on this. I went on this hike today, on this overnight. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. It uh, amongst the the burned trees, you have life springing up again. You could hear birds chirping in the background. Absolutely amazing. You got Mount Baldy out there in the distance. It has tons and tons of snow on it. This whole winter has just been something else here in California. We're almost in June and it's uh, just tons and tons of snow still up in the mountains. Well, I got the ultimate all set up, ready to go for tonight. It was a little bit windy while I was doing it, but uh, seems like the wind has kind of calmed down, but you can kind of hear it in the trees also. Uh, out further out, uh, out in that direction over there. Um, hopefully we don't have too windy of a night, but um, yeah. Got the ultimate all uh, set up to go, got the half insert in there, gonna get my uh, sleeping uh, pad and uh, all my sleeping gear in there real soon. and. Yeah, man, it's been one heck of a fun adventure so far. I'm really, really excited to be here. It's kind of hot, but 
to be 100% honest, it actually feels pretty good because we know tonight it's gonna get pretty, pretty stinking cold. We got our uh, tent set up. We're gonna go ahead and drink some water and just rest a little bit. We got a little bit lightheaded putting up the tent. Seriously, every time we went down and came back up, I was like, oh, about to faint. I guess, uh, I guess uh, I haven't been backpacking enough lately. starting to get kind of windy. Um, we've been talking to some of the PCTers that uh, are coming through and they're talking about a rainstorm coming through. We kind of had an idea that there might be some uh, some snowfall and what have you, but now they're all talking about rain. Uh, Matt went ahead and got the weather on his uh, Garmin device. We're gonna go ahead and check it out right now. And uh, we're just filling up on some water, doing our thing over here. Matt's uh, getting finished up over here but uh yeah we're gonna have to check out the weather and see what it says and uh yeah we may have a really interesting morning tomorrow time to fire up the grill we're gonna make some good stuff tonight All right, time to get some eggs. All right, so there's the final product. I'm gonna go ahead and load this up into a paper plate and uh, let me grub them tonight. We got, um, we got eggs, we got hot dogs in there, and we got um, cheese, pepper jack cheese in there, and I added some uh, salt and pepper on top of that, so. Good stuff. Time for some coffee. Dude, seriously, this cannot be any like more difficult. Could not have made that any harder right now. Like Alrighty, so here is here's my setup for tonight. I went ahead and I brought out the uh, Ultimate 2. This is its maiden voyage. Uh, we're going to give it a shot here. Uh, so far, it's been great. It's set up real easy. Um, I'm liking it so far. Uh, I haven't gotten a chance to jump in there, but I've got everything all set up in there. And um, I'll show you guys what I got here on the left hand side. I kind of got my uh, my extra clothes right over there and then my bag of knickknacks over there. Pretty much everything else that's in my backpack. Um, that's what I do. I take it and just throw it into one of these uh, one of these bags. But um, inside over here I've got my let's see, lighten that up a little bit. I've got my um, Neo Air in there and my pillow down over here. This is a um, my pillow pillow with a uh, custom uh, pillowcase, and um, got my Z-Packs five degree. It's supposed to be pretty cold tonight, and I uh, might even see some rain. So uh, I want to make sure that I bring the uh, proper gear. But I should be uh, plenty warm tonight with the setup here in the uh, Ultimate Two. And um, this is kind of what I was also talking about before. You see the Ruta Lacora pole. I went ahead and I push it off to the side. Brought this ground sheet over here by Z-Packs. Um, just kind of protect the bottom of this thing. I, I'm a big dude so I put a lot of stress and weight on these uh, DCF products. I don't want them to get messed up. But uh, yeah, good stuff man. I'm excited to use this thing tonight. And again I uh, went ahead and went with the MSR Groundhogs. They seem to be the only, only stakes that really stick. I'm really excited to use those things. So far they've been great for me. I pounded them in with rocks today and uh, yeah, they held up just fine. All right, this is Matt's setup over here. He brought his uh, duplex again. He is rocking his enlightened equipment. 
um, 10 degree quilt and he's also got a, a Thermo Rest Neo Air and he's also got a very similar uh, My Pillow Pillow like I have. This duplex really is a great bit of kit here. Love this thing. A little setup over here at the camp getting ready for this evening. I'm interested to see how this will do uh, if we do get some rain and what have you. Uh, yeah, good stuff. This is pretty cool over here. They have a uh, stable for those that are doing the PCT on horseback. You can go ahead and uh, you can type your horse over there or you can uh, put them away for the night in that little mini stable over there. Very interesting camp here. Well, I got all layered up. Old man Freesian can't take it anymore. Can't take the cold. He's going to have to have some of his uh, Gerontol juice and uh, jump under the covers. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to get pretty cold tonight. Matt was saying around 33 degrees. He got the weather on his Garmin. And uh, yeah, definitely going to be needing that five degree quilt tonight. But um, yeah, I think I'll be well prepared between all my layers and the quilt. I should sleep pretty warm. It's pretty cold this morning. And there's like a little bit of a breeze. So it's just adding to the, to the coldness. But um, yeah, I slept pretty good. It's a very, very uh, little bit of condensation on the tent. But, um, yeah, I did pretty good. Slept nice and warm last night despite this cold. Uh, did really good. Get up this morning here and see if we can catch some kind of a sunrise. All right, starting off this morning correct, getting some coffee going. Oh, baby, gonna make some bacon this morning, too. Pretty early in the morning, still, we're gonna be heading out now. Uh, it's getting windy. Um, earlier on uh, Delamar we saw a bunch of clouds, they're kind of gone now, but uh, yeah, you never know, there is supposed to be a big storm coming in in the afternoon. We'll see if it actually happens, but uh, we should be getting out of here before then. Is it working? Sony, baby. It said, uh, camera error, turn camera off, and it wouldn't turn off. Got to pop the battery out. Sony, baby. Oh, man, well, that was, that was exciting. <laughs> Seriously, let's, uh, let's never do that again. <laughs> Check out that deer over there across the way. Alrighty, we finally made it to the top of uh, pretty much the highest point that we're going to be going today. From here on out, it is just downhill. Got some weather moving in. Yeah, I got some weather moving in. We're trying to beat it. See all these clouds coming in. Just everywhere. We're starting to get flurries of snow here. Guess we weren't able to beat the weather, but I'll take snow any day over uh, <laughs> over rain. And we're not too far away from the, uh, from the truck now, but uh, yeah. It is absolutely frigid up here. And finally, it's uh, starting to snow. All right, man. We had a pretty good adventure. Yeah. We're a couple of PCT fakes, but a couple of PCT fakers here, but whatever. Old, old man weekenders. <laughs> Weekend backpackers, that's us. <laughs> but we had a good time. <laughs> and uh, we missed the weather. We got a, little, we got a few snow flurries, but uh, all in all, great adventure.